Have you ever noticed not a lot of people live in Wyoming? Some people really aren't sure the cowboy state actually exists. Before we go on, been there, it's a thing. Wyoming is the least populated state. They are number 50 when it comes to the national headcount, 51st if you count Washington, D.C. This state has the fewest people but comes in as the 10th largest state. You only get rankings like that if there's something wrong with the place. Here's the thing. There's no one major reason people have avoided Wyoming. By all accounts, it's an excellent place to live. They haven't had a giant nuclear meltdown. It isn't a toxic waste dump. They don't share a border with Mississippi. What gives? Why is Wyoming the least populated state? In this video, we will look at 10 reasons why Wyoming has 1 16th the population of New York City. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, rugged terrain. Wyoming has some of the most rugged terrain this country has to offer. The state is a great plateau broken by several mountain ranges. You have the Wind River Mountain Range. You have the Belfouge River Valley in the state's northeast corner. Absorca Range, Owl Creek, Wind River, and the Teton Range. There's a few other ones, but in the north central, there's the Bighorn Mountains. In the northeast, you got the Black Hills, Sierra Madre Range. Now, rugged terrain is something that can be overcome these days, but you got to think back to the early days when the population was growing, the mid-1800s or whatever, and these mountain ranges and this rugged terrain really stopped a lot of settlers from calling Wyoming home. Populations build over time, and with more hospitable terrain in other states in this area, it really stunted Wyoming's growth. Number 9. Harsh Weather Wyoming has some pretty harsh weather. Wyoming is known for having bitterly cold winters. With all the mountains and just about any place in that state, you're going to get a good amount of snow. Snow's just half the problem. The wind is legendary in Wyoming. With an average wind of 21.5 miles per hour, Wyoming is the second windiest state in the U.S. Wyoming has a semi-arid and continental climate that's drier and windier than the rest of the country. So this gives it more dramatic temperature swings. When you look at the 10 states with the lowest average temperature, Alaska is 28 degrees Fahrenheit, North Dakota is 41, Minnesota is 41.8, Maine is 41.9, Wyoming is 42.3 degrees. So they're the fifth coldest state in the U.S. Now once you get past all the cold, you got some decent summers, at least until wildfire season starts. Then you got some really bad air quality and you got to worry about your ranch burning to the ground. And that wind continues during wildfire season and that just helps it spread. And the weather has definitely kept a lot of people away from this state over the years. Or if they did move there, they last maybe a year and head on back to wherever they came from. Number eight, no big cities. Now, some people see this as a good thing. I'm one of them. I could really do without a major city. I grew up in the Los Angeles metro area, and I'm about done with large cities. When you don't have major cities, it kind of hurts your growth. It's just one less thing that people are looking for when they're looking for a new location. And yes, some people do need a big city for whatever their job they're doing. A lot of jobs are in major cities. Obviously, that's becoming less and less of a thing these days with the internet and people working from home, but there is still a ton of jobs that you're only going to find in major cities. And this, back in the day, stunted the growth of Wyoming. Let me give you some comparison on population numbers from some other cities in the U.S. Los Angeles has 3.8 million residents. Now, their entire metro area has about 13 million. Portland, Oregon, where I currently live, they've got about 641,000. Denver, which isn't too far away from Wyoming, has 711,000. Denver's metro area has like 3 million residents. The closest major city to Wyoming is Salt Lake City, and the city itself has a population of over 200,000, with about 1.2 million living in the metro area. Cheyenne is Wyoming's largest city. They have 65,000 people. That's it. No metro area numbers. That's their entire city. They're followed by Casper with 58,000, Gillette with 32, Laramie with 31,000, and Rock Springs with 23,000. They don't have a lot of people living here. Number seven, limited available land. Yeah, even though it's a pretty big state, not all the land is available to people like homesteaders and developers. Large portions of Wyoming are owned by massive ranches, Native American reservations, U.S. government facilities, energy companies own a ton of Wyoming. Now, does this mean there's a housing shortage? No, what I'm saying is big companies that build whole 
communities and things like that, they don't have as many options as they might, let's say, in Montana, Utah, South Dakota, North Dakota, places like that. So this has kind of stunted their growth over the decades. Number six, lack of water. Yeah, they've got a real water problem. You'd think being this far north, they wouldn't, but Wyoming has a serious lack of surface water. Wyoming has suffered from droughts for as long as anyone can remember. The University of Wyoming Water Resource Data System indicates that the Cowboy State has been in a moderate to severe drought since 1999. If the state starts building giant communities or cities start expanding, this will just exasperate the situation. In case you don't know, there are three things human beings need. Water, food, and internet. Number five, lack of industries. Wyoming does have some industries, but they aren't industries that employ a whole bunch of people in most cases. Natural resources, tourism and outdoor recreation, and agriculture. Those are the three big industries in Wyoming. Now, they have all industries you could think of, but not on a large scale that would draw in more people to the state. They don't have a ton of manufacturing. Since they don't have giant cities and a whole bunch of people, they don't have many restaurants or retail locations. Public schools are usually a big employer to just about any city, but they don't have giant cities with giant school districts like you'd find in Los Angeles or Washington, something like that. Now, they do have great schools and great colleges. They just don't have a lot of them. There's no need. There's not a lot of people. Number four, it's really only for the outdoor types. Yeah, Wyoming is known to be an outdoor haven. If you like to hunt, fish, hike, camp, nature photography, that all happens in Wyoming. And a lot of people that are into that will move to Wyoming because they want to be near what they like to do. The thing is, not everyone's into that. And if you move to Wyoming and you're not the outdoor type, the state's best feature is completely lost on you. Some people prefer to do things indoors, in cities, and things like that. Actually, more people in the United States would prefer to live near some kind of metro area than not. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with living near outdoor activities and forests and things like that. I love that. It's just most people in this country view camping the same way they view getting their wisdom teeth pulled. Number three, they don't promote it. Yeah, Wyoming doesn't really promote the state like a lot of other states do. Most states have a serious push to get people and industries into the state. Wyoming's kind of like, nah, eh, we're okay. Not saying they don't run those ads, you just never see them. They're not as active as a lot of the other states. Most people don't realize that if you're in California right now, you're going to hear ads on the radio, you're gonna see TV commercials, you'll even see billboards trying to attract you to move to Texas or Colorado, Arizona, places like that. Now, the locals can't stand the fact that all these Californians are moving to their state and they get mad at the Californians. Like, how about you get mad at your state and local officials who have these programs to lure Californians and Californians industries to your state. Wyoming doesn't really do much of that. Number two, low diversity. Now, we always get a bunch of comments in the comment section of any video where this is brought up, that diversity is not a good thing. Just all kinds of nonsense. Here's the thing. It matters to a lot of people. I know if you're living in a trailer in the Oklahoma outback and you don't want to hear about diversity and you think it's bad and all that, that's fine. You do your thing. Maybe keep it to yourself. But here's the thing. More people in the United States care about diversity than don't care about diversity. There's a lot of reasons this is a big thing for people. One, like I've always said, I think when you got a lot of diversity, you have a lot of good food, a lot of great festivals, things like that. Well, if you got low diversity, it sort of looks like an unfriendly place to a lot of diverse type people. Our last video was about the whitest states in the U.S. Wyoming is 92.5% white. They don't have a lot of different types of communities. And this, of course, has stunted the growth of Wyoming because a lot of people can't find their own types of people and their own types of communities in Wyoming. Now, I know someone's going to leave a comment about some city or town in Wyoming that has a strong this or that. Well, I'm sure they do. But overall and compared to other states, they really don't. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link down below. All the proceeds for that channel go back to teachers. We donate through this thing called Donors Choose, and we give the money to teachers that have projects going in different schools, things like that. So if you want to go over there and subscribe, watch some videos, we'd really appreciate it. All right, on to number one. And number one. 
It's horrible for dating. Yes, this has stunted the growth of Wyoming in a big way. There's no one to date. When you don't have a bunch of people, you have less options. When you have less options, you end up dating the same people. And in Wyoming's case, there's a good chance you could be related to someone you swipe right on. It's just the odds of it happening eventually. Business Insider ranked them as the 45th worst place for dating opportunities. They ranked them for dating economics as the 15th worst place and their romance and fun, 41st place. Overall, they came in as the fourth worst state for dating out of all 50 states. I've mentioned that before in a past video we did about dating and you know chances of getting married in each state. And the biggest state that I got the comments from the most was Wyoming. And it was always females. They did not have anything nice to say about their dating prospects in Wyoming. It was actually kind of entertaining to read all the different comments. One girl said she'd been going on this dating spree after a breakup and she was on like Tinder, one of those things, and she went out on a date with a guy and she ended up going back to his apartment and everything was fine. Nothing really happened, she said, but like two weeks later, she went on another date. It was his roommate. She went back to the same apartment. A few months later, she had another date. It was the guy that lived below those two guys in the same apartment building. Now, if you just heard me say that and you're from Alaska, you're probably going, yeah, and why is that unusual? They have the same problem. So how does that affect the population? Well, a lot of people will move out if they don't really have a lot of dating prospects or the chance to meet a decent person to marry. That does bother a lot of people. A lot of single people and divorcees over the years have left Wyoming because of limited options. And that has severely stunted the state's growth. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Wyoming's a great state. It's just a lot of things, especially in the early days, have slowed their growth. So they're just lagging behind every other state. But hey, if none of those things bother you, it's probably a great state for you. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Be nice to each other.